You wanna know what's behind me? A wicked 70s bar. I'm Jamie Akron, and I'm a Toronto real estate agent. I'm gonna be doing weekly video tours of the lower left of Toronto. If you don't know what the lower left of Toronto is, follow along for these videos, subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to chatting with you about your real estate needs. I love older houses because they're quirky. Behind me, you have the fireplace. Well, it's a faux fireplace, but then you have this. Like, what is this? Oh, it's a storage cabinet. No, it's a trap door leading to Another trap door. Isn't that so cool? I'll turn the light and show it to you in a little bit. But this is why I love old houses because they're quirky and they're not cookie cutter. The details in older houses never cease to amaze me. I'm in the basement right now of this house and the wooden section right behind me, that's actually curved to match the bow window right above it. I'm six foot five and I fit in here, so that's awesome. But we have a washroom hiding behind this door right here. We have laundry and we have lots of space. The eating area is located right beside the kitchen and has a walkout to the backyard. Panning around, you have a cool kitchen, you have me hiding behind a chair for whatever reason, and you have the side entrance. Behind me is the living area, which I'll cover later in the video. They sure don't make them like they used to. Now, another cool quirk I found about this house, check out this. When you open that up, the exhaust fan turns on automatically. When you shut it, it turns off. You don't get that quality and detail in the new houses. I love all the original details in this house. From the nine foot ceilings to these beautiful archways, there are a lot of details in the house that you don't get in newer houses. Now, it's dated, yes, but does it really matter? This house has good bones, has a 50 by 120 foot lot, and you don't get that anymore. It might look a little bit like grandma's house, and that's okay. Put your own style on it. I bet you can make this house look wicked. Did I mention it has two trap doors? All right, let's go check out this second trap door. Full of spider webs. If you were to clean this up, this would make a great wine cellar. And also, if you look behind where the faux fireplace is, it's kind of a cool space and you could hide a lot of things back here, make it a feature of your basement. Have you ever seen one of these before? Do you have one in your house? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to check it out if you're in the Toronto area. Okay, I love older houses. I'm gonna call this the granny house because older houses are well-maintained, they're well-kept, they may not be the most stylish, but they're quality homes. I love the one-inch plank floors. This house is amazing detail in the floors. It has some quirks, it has lots of style. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and they're asking $1.499 million. The gardens are so well cared for that a neighbor actually stopped by and asked me who did the gardens while I was there. I didn't know who did the gardens, but I live right around the corner and I always walk by this house and I love what they've done. What do you think? Located in the waterfront neighborhood of Long Branch, this house is conveniently located just a stone's throw from the water, Long Branch Loop, Micheline St. Cyr French School is right side of you, and you're on a street full of great houses. This house in particular is on a 50 by 120 foot lot, which really stands out in a neighborhood full of 25 foot lots. As I mentioned earlier, I'm a real estate agent from Toronto, Ontario. This one isn't my listing, but the listing agent, Brooke O'Brien, let me film it, and I just wanna thank her for letting me do this. Now, you probably wanna know what it's gonna cost you. They're asking $1.499 million for this house. A 20% down payment will bring you just under $300,000 for a down payment. Total cash required to close, including land transfer tax and all the fees, is just under $355,000 approximately. A 30-year amortization on a five-year variable mortgage at 4.3%, I know the rates are super high right now, will cost you $6,255 a month, including your mortgage and property taxes. Utilities, of course, are extra on top of this. I just want to say thank you to Austin at Simon Mortgages for providing me these numbers. Okay, one other quirky thing about this house, and I don't know what this is, maybe you know what it is. That's soft. Looking at Map of Toronto, right down, if it's not backwards, down here, on the edge of Mississauga, on the Lake Ontario, we have Alder that falls down the Etobicoke Creek, 
and we have long range right at the water.